Well, you remember the game Beyond Good and Evil? Well, so does Ubisoft, but apparently it was depicted in the wrong light. It's got a new disclaimer on it. We're going to take a look. Well, we all know we love to buy games with trigger warnings on it. Vera Dark bringing this forward. I love buying games and seeing trigger warnings saying there's harmful comment and soon as I open them. This age old description where they're adding these trigger warnings saying this was made in a time that was different from what it is today this is not needed this has been something that has been getting added to many many different mediums we've seen this with many old disney films we have seen this with dungeons and dragons against the original creators and it just brings down the original works that were in a lot of ways beloved and they were enjoyed by millions of people at this point but you've got to remake it or you re-release the same game and say listen we know things have changed in the world it's not in the same light it's not sanitized it's not for the modern audience it's something that you must enjoy and we're going to throw this trigger warning for beyond good and evil the 20th anniversary edition brings the original experience to today's platforms the story and gameplay remain they were as they were when the game launched in 2003 20 years later as such some characters and cultural references contain stereotypes ubisoft acknowledges the negative impact of their representation much like the game itself we keep on learning about our world our game and the stories and representations within them so this is like what they did with Tomb Raider and just threw this on there as a boilerplate just to cover their asses for who. There's no one out there that really cares about this. You want to throw on things and have a shock content in there? There's no shocking content in here. You know, it's more shocking to randomly come across Twitter and see Boogie2988 streaming naked than this type of thing well from bounding into comics ubisoft adds disclaimer to beyond good and evil 20th anniversary apologizing for some characters and cultural references containing stereotypes the scary scared stereotypes like how dry is this world going to get everyone needs to be an, an automaton and just needs to be gray-faced and don't live your life don't make the mistakes of the past because those mistakes no longer are allowed to be made today like you know what let the content be let the content speak for itself if people find it upsetting you know what people do they turn it off they don't need a trigger warning they turn it off and they move on with their lives or that's what generally 90 percent of the people in the world and then the other 10 percent sit here and uh you know they're gonna write a long comment here saying how they need a trigger warning how this it needs how this benefits everyone in society you it, it's like learning about the challenger mission and knowing that people went up on a spaceship that exploded uh, trying to leave the atmosphere do you need a trigger warning of that people died those are things that happen in life people made a video game they put hours upon hours upon coding upon everything to program this game and suddenly one stereotype that doesn't even go off the rails has to have a trigger warning Upon booting up Good and Evil 20th Anniversary, rather than its main menu, players are, will be instead greeted by a disclaimer from Ubisoft apologizing for the fact that some of the game's characters and cultural references contain stereotypes. More than a simple re-release, Beyond Good and Evil 20th Anniversary pre presents players with an updated version of a fan-favorite action-adventure game. It's technically features optimized for a current hardware graphics touch-up and story expanded by a number of new fully canon cutscenes. Wow, they, they made full new cutscenes for this game. But that's not where the changes uh, to the original outing will end. As discovered sequently brought to Brown and Bounding the Comments, attention of Vera Dark. This updated version of Beyond Good and Evil also features the disclaimer which we already read. Ubisoft did not clarify to which characters, references, or overall design elements they considered to be eventually stereotyped. This is the exact same disclaimer that we saw with 
Tomb Raider. They put it on there saying the cultural references because she's raiding tombs because there just happens to be tribes people in the game. Every once in a while here on the channel, I play with another person, Desolator Magic. We will play a game where literally we fight cannibals and it's a fun game. It's called Green Hell and it, it, it's interesting. You got to survive. It's a, a total sandbox style game, but you run around, you end up uh, having to kill natives as they will just kill you. If you want a stereotypical game in the middle of an Amazon forest, that's what you play. And that's something that happens. Speculation suggests that in this game, a characters of Ming Zhu, a walrus merchant who wears a sm toothy smile, a Chinese tang suit top, and owns a pet koi fish, uh, se Secretando, an AI who speaks in Spanish accent so heavy it pronounces the name of the game's main character Jade as Yade are likely among them. So they put some, they put in a character in the original game that people found a little bit disparaging and honestly that was the original game people didn't have a, a problem with it then and suddenly we have people someone in their department their cultural sensitivity department saying well this might be seen in a bad light today 20 years ago it wasn't such a big deal but now today this is a giant deal you can't have these types of things in games you can't have the satirical versions of games of a stereotypical thing of the past. It's no longer allowed. It, it, this is the fastest way to get your game canceled, apparently, even though people will sit there and still buy the game up and still just play it. Play the original, own physical, uh, reject digital at this point with these older style games and you will have a lot more fun and not have to worry about ridiculous things like this. Notably, Beyond Good and Evil 20th Anniversary Edition is not the first Western re remastered release this year to receive such performance uh, apology screen. Upon booting up for the first time, Crystal Dynamics Tomb Raider. Uh, the remastered presents a one-time disclaimer informing the games is a collection contains offensive depictions of people and cultures rooted in racial and ethnic prejudices. At this point, why do they have to continue to do this? If you're going to find it offensive, you're going to find it offensive no matter what happens. They put on a disclaimer and what does that disclaimer do? It does nothing but draw more attention to it. And then you have people like myself and others going, why are you doing this? It doesn't even make sense. It does a disservice to the original creators of these games, of these tellings, and it brings the whole product down. It doesn't boost up the product, it doesn't bring it up on a marketing standpoint, and it, this warning, if, if you're, if you are in need of this warning, let me be frank with, uh, with life. It's not nice things. People are not nice people out there. And there is a lot of things out there in the world that is very telling, but this is a very small thing in a very large world that absolutely has no meaning or need in a game to bring more attention to something that does not, that is already not needed. Just go into any old game and go, okay, well, this is the way the game was back then. Do I need to do a change about it today? No, leave the games alone and don't try to censor them because this type of thing is in them. Anyway, I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you again very soon. Yeah.